Today we're unboxing Barbie X Cartel. It knows its boyfriend didn't wear a boy condom. By subtracting its tasty boy milk from its sticky boy syrup. Hey dumpster divers and welcome back to a new episode of buying plastic, but hey, we put it inside of some cardboard. And we'll talk about that later. So today we are unboxing the Barbie X Cartel furniture set, chairs. It's like five chairs that are very famous chairs from the brand Cartel, who is a, they're like an Italian furniture manufacturer. And one of the reasons, now that I've done some research, one of the reasons that they're interesting and it's funny that they're working with Barbie is because, you know, Barbie's very plastic. And Cartel themselves, in their manufacturing process, they have not really like patented, but like worked with different plastics. They've attempted different like plastic molding methods and everything to save like on waste and production time and stuff like that. They have like thermal treated plastics. They just have like regular like polyethylene plastics. And it's really interesting because in our heads, obviously plastics like an environmental disaster, but they're trying to use it responsibly. And there's some like chairs in this collection that are based off of a chair that's like um, a fully recycled chair, etc. And so Cartel is a higher end brand. They have a higher price tag on their stuff. So it makes sense that like a bougie girl like Barbie would collab with these people. But after doing some research, it was kind of really cool because we've all seen the Louis chair, like the ghost chair, like it's cheap. You can find it on AliExpress for like 99 cents. And when I said that, when I was talking about like the initial promo images for this launch, I was like, well, these are all pink chairs that you don't have to spend $60 on because you can just get them off AliExpress and then paint them pink. And then somebody's like, well, one of them's clear plastic and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 99 cents. Look at the screen grab, AliExpress. You can still get it. I got them, probably shouldn't have, but I wanted to look at them from like a design perspective. And I actually learned about the designer who made these chairs and that is Felipe Stark who had like very much an initial kind of launch into the zeitgeist in like the 80s and then continued to do amazing things technologically with plastics etc and so while some of these chairs may seem a little basic on the forefront which i was kind of like thinking too like from a design aspect i was like yeah they're simple but they're elegant like there's a lot of really good you know like forms in these chairs but it was just really cool to go on that kind of journey and learn a little bit more about them and to have them in Barbie size, which is also really cool. And, you know, if you're a name brand whore, kind of like, you know, I am, it is nice to have these not be AliExpress, but you could still get AliExpress chairs if you missed out on this collab or if you wanted more than one set. A lot of people were talking about how they only wanted these if they could get like four of each, you know, instead of it being five different chairs. But these are five of like some of the most famous chairs from Cartel designed by Felipe Stark. And I think we should just get into them. Okay, so here's the Barbie X Cartel packaging up close. You know, you can still see that they put some pink on the cardboard. They have little silhouettes of each chair in pink and it's from Mattel Creations. And you are more than welcome to pause right here if you just want to read this little bio. And then on the bottom of the packaging, you can see the different chairs. We've got the Louis chair, the Masters chair, the Venice, the AI, and the Eros. Then this is the packaging compared to a Barbie. And again, compared to a Barbie. Let's go ahead and open this up. So here are the chairs inside of the packaging, just kind of showing you how they showed up. It's just a cardboard molding that holds the chairs in place and then the top of the box holds them into place. It also comes with this little envelope inside and it's your certificate of authenticity from Barbie X Cartel and Mattel Creations. And then it just has a little bio on the back, but that's a pretty cute certificate of authenticity. I don't usually keep these, but this is adorable. Okay, so I figured a voiceover would be a little bit easier over some like B-roll footage of the chair. So the Louis Ghost chair, which was made in 2002 by the designer Philip Stark, who designed all these chairs. The material's made out of Lucite, the original, and the price for one of these chairs right now on their website is about $1,090. It's based off of like unupholstered 18th century chairs used by French King Louis XVI and his wife, Marie Antoinette. It's used as a way to showcase plastic as more than just a wasteful throwaway material. The design was picked up in 2002 by the Italian furniture company Cartel. It's made with single mold manufacturing and they have a full scale human sized version of this chair on their own website right now. It's 
intended for indoor or outdoor use, but mostly for dining purposes. Next up is the master's chair. It was made in 2009. It is a Felipe Stark design, but it was also in collaboration with Eugenie Quitlet. The material is made out of polyethylene and there is a starting price on the website for about $770. There is also a Barbie version of this chair that is at a human scale on their website as well. The design concept is based off of the big three, which were already existing famous chairs, like the Series 7 chair designed by Arn Jacobson, the Tulip chair designed by Eero Sarinen, and the side chair by Charles and Ray Eames. So because the chair is crafted from a through dyed polyethylene and polyethylene being one of the most used plastics in the world, it can come in a range of colors. While it is intended for like indoor outdoor use as a dining chair, it can be just used for anything basically. This is the Venice chair also designed by Felipe Stark. So I couldn't get an exact year on it, but I'm assuming because his heyday was like the 2000s up until now, that it was probably made in the earlier 2000s. It is a tribute to the city of Venice and it's based off of the classic lines that you see throughout Venice's like quote unquote skyline and the essence of comfort in Venice. It also was inspired by the Venetian cafe chairs where you could just sit down and have some coffee and once again intended as like a dining chair but is obviously for indoor outdoor use it's also used for daddy to sit on top of which of course my face would be jealous of it is about 810 dollars for a pair of these and they are made from a mass color polycarbonate kind of matte plastic next up is the ai chair made in the year 2002 obviously designed by felipe stark it is made from a recycled thermoplastic with mineral filler, which is a really interesting technology. It was priced on their website for about $740 for a set of two. The concept is based off of Cartel's commitment to eco-friendly materials and sustainability, but also there's a version of this chair that does fold up and it's like this exact same form and everything is just foldable, but that was inspired by like origami. And this had a more of an outdoor use intended with the thermoplastic. But yeah, it makes for a fun little design. And next up, we have the Eros chair, which in my mind has to be probably the most impactful of the designs here. It was made in the year 2001, as you currently see it. There are versions of it with legs that we've seen before that were starting in like 1995. The seat is made out of a translucent polycarbonate and the base is supposed to be a die cast aluminum but here for the barbie one they just use some more plastic i would have loved if they had you know like painted it a metallic pink which i guess i could just do myself the price for one of these chairs currently is about 1040 dollars it is intended as an indoor chair and more for like a living room or an office space but can be used anywhere the organic egg shape kind of helps contour the human body and it also provides like the concept of safety which is used a lot with eggs and a design element i wanted you guys to see the chairs right next to each other without any dolls on them. Obviously the Eros and the Ghost Louis chairs stick out the most, but all of these chairs have their own design merits. There's almost like this infinity feel to them and the fact that they're blending the artistry of like design and the science of plastic together to create something like this is really cool. And this, I just wanted you guys to see all the dolls kind of interacting together, seeing how they fit into these chairs. And you can see that the chairs are actually a little oversized for the dolls, which is fantastic because sometimes when doll furniture comes at like a Barbie scale, it's a little undersized and Barbie looks a little big on it, but you can see that Silkstone Barbie, she's like sinking into that chair. And I just, I'm really impressed with these, surprisingly. All right, kids, I'm back. Um, I had to go donate some plasma. After the little presentation earlier, I hope that you guys learned some really important lessons about how you should always be kind and thoughtful and sharing is caring. And you should always have a trusted adult who you can talk to about anything, anything. But back to the chairs. 
So, are these worth $60? 60 divided by five is... The prophecy is true. $12 each. So now that I know a little bit more about the company and now that I know a little bit more about the designer, I would say if you're a fan of the company, the designer, or any like aspects of design, and obviously you're a fan of dolls or Barbie or something, then yeah, it's worth it. But only if you're getting it as a collection piece. If you're getting it to get like four sets of each chair, that would be $240, which is, don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's not worth it, like I said. These exist on AliExpress. You might even find like a chair form that you like better that you could paint pink or it might even come in pink. The Barbie movie is super popular and it made a bunch of stuff pink. And as we saw earlier, even Cartel has like adult sized Barbie furniture because that's just how influential Barbie is. I'm not going to tell you that it's worth the $60, but I'm not going to tell you I'm upset that I got these for 60 bucks, you know? Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next episode where Philip Stark, more like filmy arch my back because he can come and get it. That was a stretch, but you know, that's something my whole and I will have in common after Felipe is done with it. I said, I don't think that he's good for you. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! <laughs>